Hey buddies, how's it going? Pretty good I hope, because I am doing amazing. I am doing so much better than how I was doing originally and it is freaking awesome. So welcome to just another update, where I give you a pretty good size update on what all is going on with my life, online and otherwise. And what might be going on in other friends and family's lives, because, well, I'm finding myself pretty well connected, and it's nice. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that was way too dorky even for me. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Anyways, I went to an inpatient facility voluntarily from March 19th through March 26th for my anxiety and depression, which were at an all-time high and making it hard for me to function and control how I was doing, so I really needed the help that I needed because I was even feeling suicidal to the point I was going to drive into other traffic. And that's pretty serious. I mean, depression isn't just a simple thing where it's just, oh, you feel sad, you feel bad, get over it, you have a lot of positive things. It's not quite that easy. It's more of a process in trying to understand how to work with your depression and anxiety. It's a, it's a more detailed process than some people like to believe. And people should be more educated on the seriousness of mental illness because Mental illness is a serious thing, and it affects people's lives. I mean, seriously. I just told you I was about to commit suicide. That should be a little flag saying, Hey, this might be important! Yeah. So, after going to there, or while, my, while I was going there, I was getting therapy, helpful self-help classes, and psychiatry. So I was working with a therapist, different staff and speakers, as well as a psychiatrist. So I got some personal help that felt like it was really what I was looking for. I felt really happy to find a lot of the help that I did, and they seemed overall well connected and related to what I was needing help for. And my anxiety and depression and everything else, they just understood, and they actually worked with me pretty well. Because there was one, like, medication that I was gonna be taking but I told them I know I can't take that because the last time I took that I felt so numb and gray that it made it kind of pointless to be an antidepressant so I'm actually on a different antidepressant which also was helping treat my OCD my OCD was so bad that I was constantly second-guessing everything having obsessive invasive thoughts that I'd have a hard time working through and there is just some other things that make OCD annoying in general, but something to be understood. And I am working to get better as myself to be a better person and be a stronger person. And that being said, I am happy to communicate with you guys and bring, to fo bring together a lot of fun and community. And overall, I'm just happy to have a happier perspective on life. It feels nice, bro. It feels good. So... What I can control is a lot more self-control. I don't feel like I had as much self-control before because I was so depressed and wracked with anxiety that, again, it was hard to function. So let me just double check my script as I like to look at this thing that helps me keep my thoughts together and collected to be pronounced to you. So I'm doing pretty well and my boyfriend Jenner's He's doing also pretty well. He's doing better than how he has been over time, and he's slowly getting better, and as he's also transitioning more into a male, his voice is getting slightly deeper. His voice is currently in the low range of his original voice, and not quite a new voice yet, but I look forward to that day, and I will be so happy to see him be happy as the man he's always wanted to be and meant to be. Oh, <sighs> words. Gotta take a breath. Oh. So, you might be wondering how my job treated this whole situation of me being at the inpatient facility for a week. Well, they were actually pretty understanding and accepting for accepting the fact that I needed help. So, I went back and everyone welcomed me pretty nicely. They just said, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It was pretty nice. I liked it. I made me feel supported. And that's a nice thing I found over here in Oregon, and I'm sure this can be found elsewhere, but... With my luck in Oregon, it's just been a lot of positive people looking to just be friends and relate. It's freaking awesome. 
So yeah, they were okay with my stay. I'm needing to catch up a little bit since I couldn't get medical leave. My pay was, of course, not going to be given to me since I was gone for two weeks from work. So yeah, that's a little something to be concerned of, but I will be catching up. I'll be doing fine, but if you want to, feel free to donate to my PayPal, which is linked on the main page of my YouTube. Or you can also go to my Patreon in the linked in the description to help me monthly, and you don't have to do it constantly. You can maybe only do it a month if you wanted to, and then just say, okay, give me my donation. I will donate later if I want to. And it's really all up to you because you have free will. And what we should be concerned about is probably a little bit of our health. Well, my health is slowly getting better, I hope, since I'm trying to diet better with less carbs, less sugar, and I'm trying to go on walk with go on walks with jitters, uh, and so that way we can both be more active, and if you actually didn't know this, exercise can actually help depression. So even if it's just a half an hour, just go outside and walk around your house, walk around your block, walk around your apartment complex, just do something that is reasonable and works for you. And then you can work up and maybe do different things. Maybe one day you might do a walk, maybe one day you might go to a gym, or go just lift weights, or just go on a run, anything like that. But yes, I am working to better my health, and I haven't been able to use the weight recently as much as I would like, so unfortunately my lift power isn't at the highest it could be. I'm not going to be a muscle man with the, with the macho, muy macho, massive muscles that they have. I prefer to have some muscle, but more a bit more on the tone side. But strength to lift, you know, boxes and stuff since we'll be moving again in like, what is it, April? Oh, four months until we move again. So we're going to be also looking for a new place. So don't think that all of this is permanent, because we know the last apartment wasn't permanent. And to be honest, they are kind of not ideal here, as much as they used to be before they switched management. Before they switched management, things were all fine and dandy. When they switched management, eh, certain things leave room for improvement. Sorry. I won't say what it is, because that's private. I would say, sorry, I won't say who they are, since that's private. So yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything more than just get ready for our next move. <laughs> Which is going to be so fun. Anyways, let's move on to the online section of what is going on and say, I will be uploading every Wednesday to Ponies with Pockets Productions channel with gaming videos, which are currently on the only Undertale until we can record more with cast and crew. So that Undertale play that was from like 2015, a little bit 2016, that's going to finally be finished and there will be another episode going up next week because I'm actually able to edit and do things now. It's nice. So if that's not enough for you, I will be uploading Monday through Friday or not necessarily uploading but releasing videos Monday through Friday which are all gaming videos or otherwise and every Saturday I plan to do Portland Game Yak shenanigans footage permitting if we have any footage so that's six day six videos six days a week uh, can you follow or can you keep up <laughs> because I'm feeling energetic and it feels good man uh, make sure I'm not missing. I'm not missing anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm catching up on my Let's Plays. Speaking of which, so Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location and Five Nights at Freddy's Four, those are gonna be hopefully finished sometime soon and getting uploaded. The Five Nights at Freddy's Four stream that will be getting uploaded will be the Halloween edition of the game, and will also be the donation stream that I held. Uh, last October for my friend Keiko and Gilly to help him move over to York in Britain. And what else is there? Well, do you think Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion is still fun? Because I do. And I finished the game, so you have to look forward to what all kind of crazy things I did in the upcoming Let's Play videos of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. 
Besides that, I also started Soma last year, so I'll be continuing that game and uploading the little section of play that I did do. And I did spoil myself a little bit by looking at one of the enemies that are upcoming. Nice and creepy. I look forward to being creeped out and ready to kind of run, because the only thing you can do in certain survival horror games is... RUN! And if not this week, next week, I'll be recording for audio plays and a couple of songs after rehearsing. So like the one I owed from the old hard drive from my old computer, I will be putting that song up after like a few years of needing to and not having motivation to. That's gonna go up. And the Five Nights at Freddy's Foxy song that I had used a few times prior in my old videos, that will be getting recorded for next week. And that will be hopefully released the week after editing and mastering aside. So yeah, plenty of content to follow. I got like six days of videos a week. No wait, seven videos. So it's pretty much a full week of videos. That's pretty fun and pretty nice and what I wanted to do for a while and I haven't done it in quite a while. So yeah, it's good. Um. Oh, right! Speaking of streaming, I will be currently only streaming on Fridays from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're on the East Coast, that would be like from 7 to 10 p.m. to p.m., of course. So, what I'll be streaming first is a fresh blind play of ukulele. I was a backer for the game when they were first doing the Kickstarter, so I hopefully can find my name as Zachary Yesterday Around the French in the credits. And if you wanted to actually find out a couple of puns with my name, you can probably just say Zachary French. I'm exactly French because my first name is Zachary, otherwise called Zach. My middle name, my middle name is Lee. And my last name is French, so, so I'm exactly French. And if I tell people my last name is French, they go, what is it? It's French, but it's Irish. Okay, what is it? It's French. Oh, are you French? No. I mean it. I'm actually 0% French. My last name French is an Irish name. And it's from my dad's side, of course. So, yay for being exactly French. Um, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah! I'm gonna be also maybe trying to play a couple of other games like continuing Outlast 1 and I'll try and re-explore Red Faction Guerrilla. We might switch to those games during this week's stream, but we might not considering how much fun we might have in ukulele. So just something to look forward to as time goes on and streams happen. So yeah, if you want to follow, go to my Twitch which is linked in the description at uh, twitch.tv slash jester underscore Dayrama. So a lot of my links are always in my description, so Patreon, PayPal, or otherwise, wait, not PayPal, but Patreon, and a lot of social media, that's all going to be down below in the description. So please click any of the links in there and follow, and you'll find whatever is whatever. Um, on the note of Gamiax, I will want to do Brutal Gamiax, or Brutal Gamiax with Tiberius, sometime in the future once we can get a capture card for consoles. So he and I will be doing gaming again, probably like Halo games or otherwise. But that's gonna be fun, cause you know, fun fun fun, fun on a bun, nothing like fun on fun on a bun. Excuse me. Oh, uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel, guaranteed to energize me for any game. I had to wink with one eye before, so I had to use the other. So yeah, on the note of GameX, we're also going to be getting Portland GameX shenanigans put up every Saturday, as I said. So that will be footage permitting, and it'll be following us on any adventures we have outdoors, or any debauchery of fun that we have in the apartment. Because, well, we're kind of happy to share our lives a little bit, and happy to do that with you. So, if that's not enough for you, I still want to re-mention Online Gamiax, because probably the first experiment I'll have with that is Overwatch. It'll be six players total, including myself, 
playing either versus AI, quick play, arcade, or the current brawl, which is the uprising, or the null sector uprising, as you may have seen. For those of you are playing who are playing Overwatch, it's looking pretty fun as a board game. Kind of reminds me of Man vs. Machine in Team Fortress 2. And we all kind of know Overwatch did take a lot of features and and maybe improve on them for its game. So, yes. I think that... Oh! Thankfully I wrote this down, or typed it down. If you are in any of the online Game X videos, you will be linked in the description. And you will also, of course, have your name, or username, in the video as well. So you'll be credited as John Smith 1 or Jane Smith 2. And I'm just using John Smith, Jane Smith, considering those are the basic gender names, but I will, of course, respect that if you have no gender or multiple genders or anything like that. But try to be a bit serious about it. I mean, some of you I have seen, or some of you I haven't seen in particular, but passed by some of people, I've passed by some who just try and use gender as their shield and anchor because it's like, I have everything to go, I have everything behind this, you need to believe I'm this. No, there's actually a little bit more to it than that. You actually, you know what, I can't speak for a trans person because I'm not trans and I've been happy being male. But if you actually feel a certain gender and have felt that way probably most of your life or have realized it, go with who you really are. That's what I should really mean to say. Be happy with who you want to be. Be who you want to be and be happy. That's what I meant to say. Be yourself and be happy. That's what I hope for for all of you. Sorry, I get a little bit nervous and kind of jumble my conversational topics and words sometimes. It comes with a little bit of anxiety and OCD. What can you do? So, I just wanted to say, uh, oh, last details. You might notice the scarf is a bit bigger and a bit wider. Well, I want to thank Matsuyorific for having given me the previous scarf that I had worn for a while, but I was given this new scarf recently by Atem, my roommate and friend, um, who made this nice and lengthy and thick. So I will be wearing this moderately often, of course like in streams, videos, stuff like that. And yeah, this is probably the longest scarf I've ever had. This is probably the longest scruff I've ever had. And this is probably the longest my hair has ever been. So. Yeah, we're going for length. Uh, <laughs> man, that was that was bad. But I think some of you thought it was pretty good. So I will be going on to my outro section. And I will be actually starting it off with my daily five gratitudes. So for today's gratitudes, I am thankful for my family, or I'm grateful for my family, friends, my job, rediscovering my creativity and being supported. The five gratitudes was something that was uh, done at the inpatient facility to help give you more mindfulness and positivity. And if I stick to it like I should, and I haven't been, it'll help creativity, depression, and just being an emotionally, success emotionally successful person. It'll help me get there. But, um, most importantly, if you are wanting to still support this channel, please be sure to click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell anytime you want to get notifications. Because YouTube has been doing this thing where it actually unsubscribes and unnotifies people unbeknownst to them. So, if you can, please give a like, share, subscribe, support through my Patreon, or donate on my main page on my YouTube. And... Um, wow, words. What are they? Oh yeah, feedback. I should really get some feedback on how I'm doing because <laughs> me being the guy I am, I could probably use a little bit of a little bit of feedback because feedback helps me learn and helps me develop and helps me grow and learn. 
I said learn twice. I like learning. Oh, sorry. Random darkness because my screen went into a screensaver because I'm talking a lot more than doing stuff on the computer. But, yes. Most importantly of all, praise the Spurple and the Foxes. Because Foxes are awesome and Spurple is a smarty. So yes, as always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I shall see you guys next time. Love ya.